Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, good news, I, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's good news, I think. It's good news. It, well, good Which, news is Tim Allen's coming back as Buzz Lightyear. That's the good news. The bad news is, for some reason, we're getting a Toy Story 5. Exactly! Yes. Uh, so I've got really mixed feelings about this. He should have been the voice of Buzz Lightyear in the Lightyear movie that mm -hmm. should have actually been about Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Yes, and, and not whatever that was. Whatever the hell that movie was. Um, but yeah, so Tim Allen not canceled. We knew he wasn't canceled. We've talked about it before. In fact, um, they've actually had uh, on Snopes, you know, it was Tim Allen canceled. And it was so weird to see him effectively ousted from Lightyear. And they gave some cockamamie excuses to why he was. It was because, oh, this is Lightyear, the, the character in the movie, not the toy. I'm like, well, they would probably use the same right. voice. And I think the, ass, and one of know? the main reasons, the main reasons it failed in the theater was because it wasn't Tim Allen and it wasn't the Buzz Lightyear everybody knew. Contrary to the argument, it was because there was like a, a really short clip of a same-sex couple. No. It wasn't because of that. Most people didn't even know that. Most people didn't even give a no, shit about that. No. What it was was because you, you took Tim Allen out and you ruined Buzz Lightyear. That's what it was. It's like, oh, cool, we're gonna get uh, Buzz Lightyear and the little green aliens. No, we're getting we're getting some guy in a spacesuit and a robot cat for some, which is never mentioned and ever. This, and this is ever a, before. yeah, the cat's never brought up. You think you'd never. have the cat? This was the the, the movie that that. Uh, Andy watched when he was a kid. It was his Star Wars, and that's why he bought the toys. No, there's no way <laughs> in hell that a 10-year-old kid would watch that movie and fall in love with it and want all the toys. In fact, most of the Lightyear toys are on clearance because kids don't want that version of Buzz Lightyear. They want actual Buzz Lightyear. Mm -hmm. Now, if they had done a movie that was an update of Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. I agree. Which, which was incredibly popular at the time, and the ride is still in the Disney parks. And that's the uh, the story that most people know, and that's something that a kid in the '90s would have totally been into. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that, but not Lightyear at all. But uh, Tim Allen is back. We're gonna talk about that, and um, this is very interesting. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 292, almost 293,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciate. We do talk a lot about Disney. We talk about animation. Uh, having worked in and around uh, Disney, various capacities over the years, uh, running piratesandprincesses.net, which Geeky runs. Uh, we do a podcast, too, on Pirates and Princesses. Go check that out. And, uh, yeah, we thought it was very weird that they replaced Tim Allen with Chris Evans, uh, especially since Lightyear was in development since, like, 2016. Yeah, so this would have been under Iger that, it, that they started developing it. But the current iteration of it really it wasn't announced till 2020. Uh -huh. And... I, I have a theory. I, I don't think Tim Allen is not canceled from the Walt Disney Company as no. a whole. No, he just did the Santa Clauses. He's one of the executive producers. They just greenlit that for a second season. It did very, very well. People were very excited about it. He is not canceled. No, and he's been a very outspoken conservative, right? Um, he's not canceled. He's not canceled because he brought views and money. Yes, that's at the end of the day, that's what matters, right? Um I think this was a Pixar decision. I think Pixar decided that Tim Allen being an outspoken conservative and Trump supporter was too toxic to be in the movie about a character he originated. I think uh, Pixar was the, the, the ones who decided that they needed that, that, that one part that people keep blaming everything on the failure of. Um, they're the ones that put that in there because they keep trying to insert stuff into their their movies as of late. Um, but that was it really was. I mean, for some people, I'm sure it was. But for the majority of people, the reason Lightyear failed was because they're like, where the hell's Tim Allen? And what the hell is that? That's not Buzz. No, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the movie and I'm like, this is not Buzz Lightyear. And well, then the twist ending really was not Buzz Lightyear. I'm like, what the hell? And here's the that? thing. If Woody acted like his character for the most part from, you know, his show, Woody's Roundup, mm -hmm. wouldn't Buzz act like his character? Like, oh, it's different because he's, he's a toy version. I'm like, but Woody acted the same as his character for the most part. So Buzz would have too. Buzz would have acted exactly as the toy version acted because Buzz in the first Toy Story movie did not know he was a toy. He was right. acting like the Buzz Lightyear in the movie that he was, or TV show or whatever that it was based on, he would have acted exactly like that. Right. 
So yeah, it'd be like having a Luke Skywalker action figure just repeating all the lines from the movie mm-hmm. and doing the thing, being like, I'm not a toy. I'm, I'm, I'm actually Luke Skywalker. I'm Luke Skywalker. You know? Yeah. I'm not Luke. I'm you not know? Luke. Anybody who read the books would get that. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but it's interesting to me because they're bringing back, how how you found out about it first of all was Tim Allen made a tweet. Now, nothing from this has been confirmed by Disney, but it's pretty, he says, see you soon, Woody, you are a sad, strange little man and you have my pity. And off we go to number five, to infinity and beyond. Yeah, apparently that's how many Toy Story movies are going to make. No, they're going to they're make five more after this, probably. Yes, to it's, infinity and he beyond. He said sequels, plural. So I mean, they're going to they're gonna milk this thing until they can't milk it anymore then they'll grind it up and turn it into patties or something oh my god we're gonna have another we're gonna have a new story arc it's gonna be a trilogy it's gonna be broke back spaceman i was i was you know what i i actually was thinking they would would they go there would they would they go there they're more than friends you have a friend in me it's been there (laughs) it's been there since the very beginning the media would be like it's been like that that the whole time they never hit it there are people. There are people shipping these toys. No, the actually, snake in my boot. Oh, uh-huh. my booty. Am I right? <laughs> no, I, actually, what they need to do to save face because Toy Story Four made no effing sense in the grand scheme of things. Actually, to, the end of Toy Story Three is heartbreaking as it was. Didn't make a lot of sense to me that Andy would just spoiler movies like Twelve Years Old. That Andy would just give his beloved toys to some rando kid he just met, some snot-nosed kid who treats the toys like trash in the very next movie. Yeah, which is weird because it wasn't in character for her. No, it was like nobody was in character. So treats toys like trash in the very next movie. The fitting ending for Toy Story is Andy being reunited with his toys as an adult and giving his toys to his own children. Yeah, that's the only better. acceptable ending I, I will take for Toy Story because that then everything comes full circle. That's but, what you got to do, but they won't do that because more sequels that ends it. Well, we didn't need Toy Story four. The only reason we're doing Toy Story five, let's be honest, is because they're trying to undo the brand damage from those bad choices in Lightyear. I mean, this is what the whole thing's about. I guarantee you. Well, well that m- money. Well, they actually said that Lightyear was supposed to technically be the fifth Toy Story movie. But I'm like, then why wasn't it based on the Buzz Lightyear of the Toy Story movies, which is what everybody wanted? Which was what it was supposed to be in 2016, but somehow by 2020, it became something completely different. Yeah. And they got rid of Tim Allen. So it's just like, so stupid. It's just a stupid, stupid decision. And I mean, honestly, I don't know if it would have been different if Bob Iger was there to say, no, Toy Story is one of our core brands you dumb fucks. You don't mess with it. You, I don't know. You like you make it, give us a Buzz Lightyear of Star Command movie because Andy would have been all about this. Or John Lasser. John Lasser wasn't there either. This is what happens when nobody's minding the store. When mom and dad are away and the kids are having a party. Like John Lasser's not there to tell them it's a stupid idea. You know, uh, Tim Allen's not there to tell them it's a stupid idea, which is probably why he wasn't there because they knew he'd be like, hell no, this is dumb. And he wasn't impressed with the movie, by the way. He's like, this is not my character, right? And, and uh, you know, Bob Chapek just didn't give a shit. Bob Chapek was just like, whatever, do what you want, you know? I just, I, I don't, I, I have no, I, it just did shitty. It did not do well. And, it, and, and no matter what the media tries to scream about and the agenda they tried to push, it was mostly due to the bad choices made around this film. And it just seems to me that Iger's trying to get walk that back and get the brand back on, and, you know, on track, even though it should just be wrapped up. Yeah, Star Wars next, Bob. But that whole sequel trilogy, that was on that was on your watch. You know, but uh, if you can fix Marvel and fix Star Wars and get this shit course corrected, you guys will make money. I mean, people will come back regardless of the politics, whatever. As long as you're not shoving politics down middle America's throats and you're giving people solid entertainment, they will give you their money. It's, it's really not that hard. It really isn't. It really isn't that That's hard. That's the secret sauce. Like the secret sauce is just quality without all the politics. Without the filler. Without the filler. And you'll make money. You know, and I'll make Mr. Peltz happy. He'll stop yeah. breathing down your neck. So well, he's, he's stopping because he thinks that they're going in the right direction. So. And that'll be the end of our channel. And then we go away too. Because we won't have anything to bitch about. Because <laughs> you'll be doing everything right. Isn't that what then we we'll all talk want? about how they're doing it right? Then we'll talk. Yeah, that's nobody will watch us. Probably. <laughs> so we go wrap this up. 
Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.